January the 31st, 2002, I had a telephone call um, from a friend of his in Birmingham to say that Moisem had, with his wife, managed to escape from the invasion of Afghanistan and settle in Pakistan, where they were living, and that men had come to his house and kidnapped him. And they had not taken his phone, and I think from the boot of a car, um, he had managed to telephone his father in England. And so it was within hours of that that I um, heard what had happened and immediately got in touch with the Foreign Office to say a, Br a British citizen has been kidnapped in Pakistan. Would you please intervene with the Pakistani authorities? And for the next nine months to twelve months, the British authorities steadfastly maintained that they could get no information. He managed to get a message from the Red Cross to say that he was in Bagram Air Base, so he had been subject to rendition. He had been entirely unlawfully kidnapped in Pakistan. Habeas corpus proceedings were initiated in Pakistan. Every ministry, every relevant authority said that they did not have him. And then a letter came through the Red Cross from Bagram to his father. Throughout that year, um, I went with his father to the Foreign Office here to demand that they intervene for him and they um, maintained they had no inter information. They put that in writing, they told it to our face. And it was not until post Russell v. Bush in the US Supreme Court post the um, ability of lawyers to go into Guantanamo and find out from the detainees something of their history. It was only then that we discovered that the British had been there throughout. The British had tipped off the Americans where he was living in Pakistan. British had been there when he was first interrogated, still in Pakistan with the Americans. The British were there in Bagram. The British were there in Guantanamo. 